sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping to a life Hi there guys and welcome to another Blow Dump episode Okay, so today we are fishing here at Tentana, uh, just after Tentana you get Atiniqua and uh, Pinar and all those beaches but yeah we're fishing here at um, Atiniqua beach today and there you can see the reason why we don't, didn't go out for the boat today it's quite windy and the surf is quite big but um, if you have never been on my channel my name is Yandre Blom but everybody calls me Blommy because of my surname and today we're going to be fishing for a couple of yo cob uh, so the last video that we made we took out some octopus and today we're going to use those octop like octopus i'm going to show you how to rig up an octopus i haven't done surf fishing in quite some time um so i've got francho with me again francho is up there we'll talk uh, to him a little bit later on so i've got francho with me again today and we're going to be fishing for cob like i said um, hopefully I can show you a cop, but we're going to show you everything that we use. Um, I pulled out the old 14 foot rock, uh, rods and, and the, the reels. And I'm going to show you what rods and reels are using, what uh, hooks I'm using. And, but first I'm going to get the drone in the air. So what you're looking for is, I'll see if I can show it to you here. Yeah? You've got that, that blue water on the, on the right. And you've got a bank that's working quite nicely. And you've got blue water on the left again. Um, so I'm going to throw the drone up in the air firstly to show you the spot that we're fishing and why we're fishing that spot. Um, and then I'll show you how to, to rig up and what everything I do. Guys, I am not a rock and surf angler. Um, but for anybody that has got less experience than me, um, I'm making these videos or showing these videos and it's another blow down adventure. So we're out and about, we're not sitting at home and then uh, if you have any comments on how we could do it better or any suggestions please don't kill me in the comment section um, i'm only doing this for fun i'm not doing this for a living um, and then maybe somebody can learn something from my mistakes or somebody can learn something that i do right so yeah please comment if i'm doing something right and please comment if i'm doing something completely wrong and please help me if you've got better advice for me okay so yeah we're going to quickly throw the drone up in there uh, and then we'll show you why we picked this spot. Okay, so guys, I'm taking the drone up at the moment and I'm gonna try and show you, I'm gonna take the drone up as a little bit higher than that. Now you can already start to see the bank that I was talking about. Here we go. Okay, so guys, that's um, that's uh, high enough. So there you can see on the right hand side, you've got that um, rip current that's going out there. And then you've got the bank there working in the middle. And then if we move to the left, you can see there's another channel going out. So we're gonna target this little bank here on the middle where you can see the water um, working nicely. And from the beach, we can see the sand kicking up on that. So yeah, that's basically why we're gonna target that area. Um, and you've got nice blue water, deep water next to it. There on the right hand side, you can see after the wave uh, has, has gone th run through now, you can see that there's definitely a deep channel in the front, a deep channel on the side. So what's happening is that the fish, it's not, it's around, around about two hours before high tide now. So what the fish is doing, they're hanging in that, in that deeper water. And then on, on high tide, they come up to the banks to feed um, on those banks. So yeah, they, they'll, we'll throw on the edge there and as the fish come up, comes up to the banks to feed then hopefully they'll uh, take that octopus leg. Francho is going to be fishing with white mussel and I'm going to be fishing with octopus leg that we took out. So yeah, um, I hope that helps why we picked this spot. It's not 100% ideal. Oops, um, yeah, there you can see again on the right hand side you can see the, the, the one side and then it's quite a big bank and then on the other side there you can see the other 
the other side um, that I was talking about. I'm going to start rigging up um, my, my lines. So I've got a fairly thick um, leader line. Uh, it's a 0.60 leader line that I'm using. And I'm using a circle look. I'm a gutter circle. So I'm going to put it through, like always, uh, from the front. Bring it through, wind on to the stem. Okay, and then I'm going to remember the last one from the back. Going through from the back into the front that allows that fish that the hook to set perfectly in the corner of the mouth okay um yeah i've cut it a little bit longer it's around about 70 centimeters but i'll cut it down shorter um just now and then i've got a i'm using a Shimano xh heavy because i want to get a little more distance and i'm using a nice and heavy eight ounce sinker i think this is a seven or eight ounce sinker Normal figure eight knot that I'm using there. They need to trim those edges off, um, otherwise you get tangled. So yeah, neatly trim the edges off. Got this little fancy plier I'm using for that. Um, then I'm gonna put a swivel. That one. Be pushing with a sliding sinker so that if the cop picks up that octopus leg um, it uh, can easily swim so just trimming that edge off okay so there now what you want to do is you want to make um, this one just a little bit shorter your line just a little bit shorter than your sinker line right. because I'm gonna hook the bait in there so I just want to make it a little bit shorter so the tension stays on that line. And so I'm going to tie it kind of out there. I'm going to tie it on right there. I'll show you now what I mean with that. I'm just going to lift that part off and put the other swivel on. Okay, and then onto your main line. So you firstly put your sliding sink in. And then onto your sinker, uh, onto your Okay, so yeah, we go. So now if, you're, if your hook line is just that little bit shorter, you can clip it in on your on your bait. There we go. And I'm gonna show you like this. Once it hits the water, it comes out and it's nice and streamlined when you throw. Okay, so that's why we do it that way. So your hook line is just that little bit shorter than your sinker line, so that you can hook it in there on the on the sinker hook. Okay, and then you've got a nice aerodynamic shape when you're casting got a nice aerodynamic shape that you're going to do with that okay so i'm going to turn it over now i'm going to start working on that octopus uh bait yeah it's quite it was quite a big octopus that we got oh, as you can see yeah uh, <laughs> that is a massive <laughs> massive leg that we've got there um, yeah <laughs> that was a big 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 octopus that we got there um, i'm going to use some sand just to get the slime off and then i'm quickly going to rinse it 
take some of the skin off as well. Um, then I'm gonna cut. You'll see now what I do with all this. So there you can see I've taken off the bottom part, that's going to be my base uh, of my bait. And then I'm going to use this big uh, soft octopus leg um, on, a, on a couple of baits. I'm just going to cut all those little suckers off, so I don't want to use them. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open up this one. Okay, this is my um, this leg. I'm just going to open that up a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to take my hook. Go through. Like that. So that my hook sit nice, nice and proud there. Okay, and then I'm going to use my cotton. I'm going to work that. Okay. Once you've done that, I'm going to take one of these big pieces, basically the same length as my hook is, and cut that open. Put that other piece away. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cut this big piece open. Make that nice and juicy. Give it a good whack. Make it nice and juicy. I'm going to put that in the back of that pipe. Oh, this wind is making it possible to work with a cotton. Might be getting there. Get there. Here we go. a very big bait here because I want to catch a very big cop. I'm not going for a, a smallish cop, I'm going for, for a big cop and it's a, also a 10 -0 circle loop that I'm using. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't want anything smallish. I don't pick it, so it's a big bait. Um, so we'll see what comes out. Okay, I've got this thing nice in here. Tango. bait I'm going to throw at first. So hopefully I can show you a beautiful cop for that bait. Okay guys, so I haven't done this in a really really long time. Throwing with a 14 ounce, uh, 14 foot and a 8 ounce bait. So <laughs> if this doesn't go to plan, sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to try my very best to get this as far as possible. <laughs> it 
That was pathetic! <laughs> Number two. Much better, guy, okay. and we're in the water. So it's got something on here. So I oh, quickly ran closer. Still on? Yeah, yeah. Yay! Finally, something! Hey! Nice little head shakes there. Finally, we have something on. Rally and Jamie also came to visit us. The Kunter! No, 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 no shock, no shock. Yay, beautiful air shakes there. What can it be? What can it be? It is. It's a shed. <laughs> it's a shed. <laughs> Yo, it's a beautiful shed. Stunning shed. Stunning little shed. Tell him off, tell him off. Oh, fuck him, fuck That is a beautiful little shed. And, uh, there we go. That gets for not help. <laughs> well done. So we've got one fish. We've got one fish. Finally, we got a fish! <laughs> oh, shucks, sad season is closed. <laughs> he has to put it back. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Well, let's put it back. Oh, beautiful little so shed. Now we can catch them. Beautiful little shed. But unfortunately, the shed season is still closed. And we are fish abiding law citizen, so he's gonna put this one back. Annalise is probably gonna kill him. <laughs> uh, hey, 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 wrong way. Hey, there she goes. Okay, so quick release on the shed. Sorry, Annalise. <laughs> okay, guys, so I just ran. Uh, so a couple of nibbles here. But it seems the nibbles have stopped now. Okay, so this is looking a little bit differently now with the high tide coming in. Um, it's looking a little bit different. But uh, now you can see that bank that I was talking about. 
So there is the there is the one um, gully deep water, and then there's deep water in front, and then there's deep water on the side again. So I've got two rods on the bank at the moment. Oh oh oh! There's something nibbling here. Definitely something nibbling on the on the on that octopus leg. Not a very big fish, but there's definitely something nibbling there on the bait. So it's actually just on high tide now and you can see there's a little bit more fish action happening. Quickly gonna check this bait. Now guys, I don't know how long we're still gonna be here. Uh, the wind is picking up and even though it is high tide now, we're still gonna fish around like about an hour. The best fishing time is two hours before high time and then two hours after high time. High tide. Um, and yeah, please remember we do have blowdown movies in stock, so send me a message um, in the comment section and leave me a message what you could have done better uh, on bait presentation, on anything in the comment section. You give me your thoughts on, on our fishing today and um, yeah, I'd like to hear from you. But um, hopefully I can still show you a fish. We're going to fish for about half an hour to an hour and um, then we're going to start packing up. Okay guys, so as you can see the wind has picked up and the sea has actually flattened out a little bit. So it's looking a little bit better but the wind has picked up so it's not really nice anymore. So we're going to leave now. Um, next episode hopefully we're going bit sun. So if the weather plays along we're going to be leaving on Thursday for bit sun. And then yeah, hopefully I can show you some decent cob. But uh, I hope you liked the bait presentation. Um, subscribe to the channel and like and comment. And uh, see you, hopefully I'll see you this weekend at the time.